Hello, and congratulations for taking the next step to becoming a safer, healthier cook for you and your family. Welcome aboard, you guys. I'm Chef Jeremy with Launch My Health. And before we get started in the kitchen, we need to talk safety very quickly, all right? So before we even start with anything, we need to, of course, make sure that we wash our hands. So we're gonna wash our hands with warm water, soap, of course, and a disposable towel. So a paper towel is ideal, all right? And then anytime afterwards during production, if our hands get soiled, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash them again. Not a big deal, but we wanna make sure that our hands are staying nice and tidy. Uh, second thing we're gonna do after we wash our hands is we're gonna sanitize our surfaces. So we're gonna take just any old kitchen towel, um, uh, get it nice and damp, and then you can either build your sanitizer solution. So a quart container with four cups of water and a tablespoon or two of bleach, submerge your towel in there, wring it out really well, and we can wipe down our surfaces before we start. An alternative to that as well, um, you could take a um, anti, um, bacterial spray and just give your towel once on each side a quick spray and now this guy is loaded up and ready to go for you all right so the next piece is uh station setup so we want to make sure that we're setting up our station our workstation safely and efficiently as well so the first piece of course is our cutting board if your cutting board has rubber feet which many of them do now in the corners you just set that, uh, set that down, those feet are gonna grab the counter for you and you're ready to go. If you don't, like mine doesn't, all is not lost. Just grab a, uh, you can grab another kitchen towel. I've just got some paper towels here, I just got damp. I'm gonna lay that right down and I'm gonna set my board on top of that and that damp towel grabs onto my cutting board and keeps it in place. If your board is shifting around, it can be a really unsafe scenario. The other thing that we want to make sure is that we're setting our board up right to the edge of our working surface, or right to the edge of our counter. We want to make sure that we're working ergonomically, we're able to stand up, we're not reaching over, and we're also able to see right down uh, over where we're working. All right, and then our knife should always be placed uh, on the countertop or on the cutting board with that edge away from me. Speaking of knives, of course, we do wanna make sure that we're not talking with knives. If we're a hand talker, right, this can be really dangerous. So again, that knife, when it's not actively in use, use should be down on the countertop or down on the cutting board. Furthermore, the cutting edge should never ever be pointing up at you. This can be really dangerous. Always keep that business end uh, uh, of the blade down towards the cutting board, all right? Place that down there. Um, and finally, you guys, I wanna talk real quickly about electronics. So if you are using any blenders, food processors, things like that, make sure that they are switched off before we go ahead and plug them in, just to make sure that they don't give us a startle and um, send things flying potentially. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I can't wait to get to work with you in the kitchen. Welcome aboard.